I'm delighted to be uh, back among you uh, this afternoon, this evening. I'm Dominique Charon, Vice President, Programs and Partnerships at uh, IDRC, Canada's International Development Research Centre, in case you uh, missed uh, me this morning. Uh, the work of the Centre of Excellence on Civil Registration and Vital Statistics, which is supported by the Government of Canada and IDRC, as well as all of you here, are dedicated to advancing the importance of data, of particularly civil um, registration and vital statistics, vital events data, uh, to ensure that we are reaching and making sure that everyone is counted and that the needs of the most vulnerable are then able to be met by the governments who are using uh, these data to direct their investments. We need strong civil registration and vital statistics systems to help achieve the SDGs and you've seen and we've heard uh, today at how important these types of data are to monitoring the SDGs, to counting and to understanding the progress that we're making in uh, 12 of the 17 SDGs. So these data are fundamental to our ability to measure progress. Les pays du Sud font des progrès énormes pour capter countries in the south uh, have achieved a lot uh, to uh, gather data that are important uh, to SDGs, but we still have a lot to do. And uh, more than 50% of uh, SDG indicators or haven't uh, been uh, um, underscored by developing country and these are very important in view of the information we need for women for the conditions of young women and given that all these people are not reflected in the sense in the system these people are deemed invisible we don't know if they vote if they are vulnerable, are they included in the country's effort to better their lot? In 19, um, the, the challenge of improving data collection for SDGs is one of the key things that needs to be sorted out very quickly if we are going to achieve what we set out to achieve um, by 2030. Accurate, timely data generated from CRVS systems uh, are, are very important to help us achieve this and this global network of experts here with us and online, um, are, you are the, the brain trust and the capability trust that's going to help get us there. As I mentioned in my remarks this morning, it's really a pleasure for us to be a part of this community not just a pleasure, but also we feel that by being part of this community, we are also contributing to build the momentum around uh, strengthening CRVS systems around the world, mobilizing investment um, for advancing these very important systems that underpin the ability of uh, countries to make sure that everyone is counted, that women and girls are counted, and that no one is left behind. Uh, we're extremely proud to play a role in Canada's contribution to this agenda and to the ICDP program of action. So on that, because this isn't about me, um, it gives me a very great honour, in fact, to introduce our Parliamentary Secretary for, uh, to the Minister of International Development, uh, Kamal Kara. She uh, represents the riding of Brampton West and um, she was previously Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Health and Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Nation National Revenue. So she's been doing the rounds and we are delighted to have her with us tonight. She's a registered nurse, she's a community volunteer and she's a great speaker. So without further ado, yep. Madame Kera, please. It's hard to follow that. Uh, thank you very much, Dominique, for that kind introduction. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Kamala Kara, a proud uh, member of parliament for a beautiful riding of Brampton West, but also parliamentary secretary to the Minister of International Development. Uh, it's an honor for me to be here with you this evening to speak 
about this important work. And I hope that you've had a productive beginning uh, to your very successful conference. The necessity of civil registration and vital statistics cannot be overstated. Taken in another context, we often say in government, what can't be tracked and measured can't be effectively funded. That is very true, but CRVS speaks to that at the most fundamental and important level. So let me start with a brief story about Adelia Luis Cosa. Like many Mozambicans, she was a victim of a country's civil war. She was just 12 years old when she was taken from her family and held captive by the military. When she returned home, she learned that her parents had passed away. Everything familiar was gone. As a result, she lived her life without paperwork. Everyone in this room understands what that means. No documents, no phone accounts, bank accounts, virtually no chance to become self-sufficient. Literally no identity means no rights can be claimed by an individual. The impact on women and girls is even bigger, especially when it comes to advancing equality and rights, including health. This is why the focus on gender and civil registration is crucial. For those who were here today at the earlier panel on civil registration and vital statistics systems in conflict, emergencies, and heavy migration, this will be familiar. Because we know it is the most poorest and the most vulnerable women in the most fragile situations that are at an increased risk for human trafficking, early or forced marriage, sexual and gender-based violence, and preventable mortality. And CRVS offers that protection. The time for debating the need is over. CRVS, CRVS systems are a cornerstone for human development, rights, and security. We have to look squarely at how we can make sure women and children are not left invisible and stateless. How to make sure that they can have access to essential services such as healthcare, education, and social services. And how they can exercise their voices and their rights. As, as the saying goes in the field, for people to count, they must first be counted. More than any other time, this is a year of these discussions. 2020 is something of a gender super year. We're just a few weeks away of the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. We're celebrating 25th anniversary of the fourth conference of women and the adoption of Beijing Declaration and Platform of Action in 2020. And we're in the last decade of Agenda 2030 and our Sustainable Development Goals. And of course, there's a direct connection here. CRVR systems are essential to monitoring the progress of our sustainable development goals indicators and are directly related to achieving 12 out of the 17 SDGs. But without good, comprehensive data, we cannot know what all the barriers to women and girls are or how to narrow these gender gaps. And without an accurate assessment of baseline data, it won't be possible for us to measure how progress towards SDGs in a meaningful way. We support the strengthening of CRVS systems because they are essential to protecting human rights, enhancing access to essential services, empowering women and girls, and, in, and in, in, enabling gender equality. But sometimes there are barriers to data collection on the ground. You guys are the experts. Barriers as simple as medical staff who have their hands full with other things, or an overly cumbersome registration pro procedure. Sometimes it is as simple as failing to communicate why it is so important. That is why, as Canada's feminist approach, we invest in CRVS systems to help rectify the systematic lack of data, which limits the ability to identify gender barriers access gender gaps, and develop evidence-based and gender-sensitive policies and programs. It also makes it hard to measure progress towards gender equality. For example, in Tanzania, 
the birth registration system has been complicated and expensive, restricting access to birth certificates for so many families. And the solution there was simple but effective. Using a mobile app, parents in some regions can now register their children for free with a text message. With support from Canada and UNICEF, birth registration in Tanzania is improving dramatically. Registration of children under the age of five have increased 83.3% in targeted regions, up to the national average of 13% in 2013. That is a significant achievement. We're supporting CRVS programs in Haiti, in DRC, in Ethiopia, in Kenya, in Mali, Mozambique, Senegal, South Sudan, Latin America, and the Caribbean, totaling nearly $120 million, changing the lives and opportunities of hundreds and thousands of women and girls. These efforts are effective. After an information session from a Canadian-funded program in Mozambique, Adelia, who I spoke about earlier, she made a decision to go after her rights as a citizen and to acquire her identity. She is now 49 years old, has both her birth certificate and her ID card. She took action and now has the confidence to face other challenges she feared in the past, like getting a bank account. More than anything, she is visible. She is empowered to stand up and to be counted, and this is our inspiration. So let's continue to work together to make sure all the people passing in and out of this world are visible and that everyone is counted so that no one is left behind. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.